Let's swing it out to Cleveland, Ohio. And one of our delegates, Carl Tepper, on the phone. Carl, how's it going? Chad Hasty, how are you? Doing well. Uh, yesterday was pretty interesting. <laughs> It was uh, pretty interesting to watch. Let's. Uh, I want to get your opinion first on the floor fight. Uh, yesterday afternoon, it took a little bit of time out of the day to get the uh, you know all the rules committee and everything done, and there was a little bit of a floor fight uh, that happened that took some coverage and made it a little negative on the uh, on the first day of the convention. Yeah, and, and I, I find it interesting. First of all, there's about two dozen party chairmen of large and medium and, and small size counties in, in Texas who could have probably done a better job just, you know, chairing the convention. But, um, and of course the media is looking for any fight and fun. It's, it's really, the funny thing is, it's really, if you talk to Robert Pratt or people who've been around politics for a while, it's not unusual to have these little four fights. It's part of the fun of going to these conventions. Right. And, um, it was entertaining, you know. It was handled poorly. I'm not sure. They just had the yays and nays all screaming together. And normally what you do is you just say, oh, all right, everyone, settle down. Let's have the yays now and then the nays now, and, and you move on. But, you know, they, they took a break for some reason because I guess the chair didn't know what to do or was confused of how to run one of these things. So, um, But they got back out and, and you know, when you're on the floor, it's really hard to tell who won. I thought from the floor, it was the yays were the sort of the pro-Trump people, pro-the-rules people, had clearly won. But, um, you know, the people I had spoken to who were in the gallery said it was very clear that the yays had won. Nevertheless, there was a lot of belly aching. Um, the cruise people are fighters, and they just keep going. Um, no matter what, and so they just felt like they would have been better served to have a roll call vote, which I'm not sure what that would have served. Even they admitted they would have lost, but have the vote to make the delegates feel better. Um, so, okay, you know, and, and, you know, besides that, we went into an incredible night of, of um, great American speakers, you know, Rudy Giuliani and that Sheriff Walker. So um, it, it, the day definitely had its um, – had its uh, – uh, I don't want to say ups and downs. It had its curves, yeah. and uh, it was a lot of fun. I uh, visited with Carl Tepper. Uh, you brought up some of the speeches yesterday. I, I thought Rudy Giuliani uh, wow. probably had yeah. one of the best speeches of the night. Besides, well, and I thought Melania Trump did well, but before her, I, I thought that Rudy Giuliani and Marcus Luttrell, uh, I mean, two different type of speeches, but, I mean, Rudy, as far as former elected official, uh, or even out of the current elected officials, I, I thought he knocked it out of the park. You know, everybody has their uh, political heroes of some sort. and I don't usually fawn over politicians, but Rudy has been my hero for years. And to be able to be in the hall and, and see that live, uh, he's one of the, he's, he's an American treasure, you know. And uh, what, it was, it was incredible. Um, I don't, I also have to say that, uh, who's that Sheriff Walker? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Uh, wow. That guy, I didn't realize, you know, everyone sees him on Fox News and, and he was a star walker. Or David Clark. Sorry. David Clark. I'm sorry. David I, Clark. I, 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 yeah. I, I forgot how, uh, how, how he, he's, he was popular walking in. I didn't realize how popular he was, but then his speech, um, it, it's like a modern day, uh, some people will take this to all the way, like, 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 uh, Booker T. Washington or something, just, uh, another American icon personified, you know, right there, and, and what an incredible speech from him, and clear and concise, and his use of, of, of vocabulary, it, it just, it, it, what an incredible night. We, we really, uh, usually, you know, your eyes start glazing over after so many speeches, but it was one after another. Shoot, there were actors. Um, I mean, my wife was very thrilled to see Scott Mayo <laughs> up there. Uh, who did a great job, you know. So it was a really, um, it was, a, it was a pretty fun night, Chad. Uh, Melania Trump, uh, I, I thought she did very well. You, we, you probably already know the controversy that's come out that 
Uh, there were some lines that were apparently lifted or close to lines that were in Michelle Obama's speech back in 2008. President Obama went through the same thing when uh, back in 2008 uh, during a couple of different speeches where he lifted lines uh, from a former speech. Uh, yeah. uh, so, I mean, you know, this this time I'm not trying to say it's right to do, but uh, th- this is not out of the norm. But I, I think minus those two passages, I thought she gave a really good speech, and it seemed like the crowd loved her. Uh, sure. And, uh, you know, I've, I've got a little wind of the controversy, and, um, you know, perhaps what, Mo, what um, Michelle Obama said a few years ago was, was a great, you know, probably a great speech, and, and uh, everything in history has probably been said already, Chad. So we, we <laughs> tend to be plagiarizing each other all over the place. But I, I think the key to Melania is, guess what? She's an immigrant. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, she did work hard and she did travel a lot and, and she, and she naturalized the legal way. Isn't that fantastic? And so and look at her now. She's fixing to be the first lady of the United States. So, um, I hope, I hope that's not lost in any kind of contrived controversy that, um, we don't hate immigrants. Immigration is a beautiful thing, but you have to do it legally. So I hope that's not lost in the whole controversy. Well, and, and I'll tell you this, you know, just, uh, watching the news coverage even this morning with the controversy, uh, there were even folks on CNN, Cuomo on CNN was saying that she knocked it out of the park. It was a great speech, uh, but they, they were disappointed in the Trump campaign's reaction. But, you know, the, everyone is singing her praises uh, this morning, it seems like, as far as what I have seen. Uh, the Trump kids, I think a couple of the Trump kids speak today. I think Ted Cruz speaks today. Christie speaks today. Uh, what are you looking forward to as a delegate um, as far as hearing uh, speakers? And uh, can we expect any more drama on the floor today? Well, you know, so <laughs> Ted Cruz is speaking today, and everyone's holding their breath. <laughs> yeah, you know what? What's he going to say? Is he going to come out with a full force uh, endorsement? Which uh, I'm would you be surprised? surprised? Would you be surprised if he endorsed Trump? Yes, uh, he's been undermining the Trump campaign the whole time here. Um, so, you know, and the guy's a nominee, so I'm not sure if he doesn't want a Republican president next. It looks to me like Senator Cruz is not going to be the nominee. So I'm not sure, uh, you're, that's what my hesitation, Chad, is because of what's going on. That's why he's going to be the speaker I'm waiting for. I am dying to see what he's going to do. So you, do you think Cruz has been uh, organizing this? Because yesterday you, oh, had, yeah. you, you had some elected officials saying Cruz had nothing to do with this, uh, but the media was speculating that, that he was working behind the scenes. Oh, I think he's obviously working. I'm not even so sure, so sure it's that far behind the scenes. It's so why is Trump effort. having him speak then? I, that's, that's why I'm, I'm a little flabbergasted. It's been, it's, and, and, you know, among the, 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 the Trump supporters who I speak to, uh, you know they're 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 questioning it as well. Hmm. So um, again, the art of the deal, Chad. You know, let's see what happens uh, tonight. That's what everyone's holding their breath for. It makes politics fun, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. When does the official vote go down? Uh, by the way, for Donald Trump. You know, I, I, I should know this. The nominations are tonight, um, and there is a roll call of some sort. <laughs> And I should be more versed in this than I am because I think there's like a nomination tonight and then tomorrow night, my wife's looking, is it tomorrow night the vote or is it tonight the vote? I was trying to figure it out, that out at breakfast this morning and, and, and the delegation seemed a little confused, but you know, it's kind of like the Vatican. They, they tell us what to do. We just uh... <laughs> Carl Tepper, are you still having fun? <laughs> We're having we're having a blast. It's been a little bit of a, I think, a change in atmosphere because the Texas delegation is so split. Yeah. Um, you know, it is. There, there are some people who are, the, I mean, the Never Trump movement is strong. Um, they do not want to see uh, Donald Trump nominated. So, um, and I think they were, it seems they would rather see uh, Donald Trump fail running for presidency and let it go to Ted Cruz in four years. They think that would be less damage to the Republican Party. Um, of course, I disagree. So, uh, but the establishment but fact- doesn't want Ted Cruz. I mean, I mean, the, the overall step, they don't want Ted Cruz. They didn't want Donald Trump. They don't want Ted Cruz. So, I mean, if, if you're if you're the diehard Cruz supporter who is still out there fighting, 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's very hard to say it's a slam dunk that Ted Cruz is going to get the nomination in four years if Donald Trump doesn't win. Uh, I just don't know. Apparently there's some sort of a, I don't know if I want to call it a rump convention going on here of all the big wigs in the Republican Party have been meeting um, in secret. Um, and it was not that secret. It's been getting out pretty strongly here that they're you know committed to reorganizing the party after they just assume Donald Trump's going to lose. In November, and they're going to reorganize the party to make sure this never happens again. Um, of course, I think, and when you look at the speaker lineup and some of the energy, and, and Texas is split, the other states seem to be solidly behind Donald Trump. Um, it seems to me that uh, I think Donald Trump's going to kill her, uh, you know, figuratively in, in November. I think he's going to roll over her. Right. Um, the, 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 you know, he, 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 they, they're adjusting to the new, I, want, I don't want to say Donald Trump has changed, he certainly has it, but they're certainly adjusting to the November election, and it's going swimmingly well. Uh, they're learning to maneuver, you know, and it's funny because their campaign, their campaign staff, they're a bunch of MBAs, and they're, they're business people who are kind of figuring this out, but they're, they're, they're quick learners, and they're starting to get it. Right. So uh, as you see uh, what happened on the floor yesterday, uh, they're cutting deals, making deals, the art of the deal, and uh, they're learning to get through politics real fast. And uh, get the, the speaker lineup and, and, and the optics of it all, uh, I, he's going to win in November. So um, so a lot of people are going to be disappointed, I guess, on both sides of the aisle, but I think it's going to be uh, better for the American people. Carl, before I let you go, can I make a suggestion? Yes, sir. Uh, please have the Texas delegation lead the USA chants and and get everybody on the same page. Because on TV, I don't know how it sounds in the hall, but on, on, on television, the USA chants sound horrible. U- USA, USA. I, I, yeah. Everyone's been doing it, right? Or is it just how Texas delegates? It's, it's just all over the place, and it's real quiet, and no one seems to know what to I mean, even you had the retired General Flynn on stage last night uh, when no one was left inside the yeah. uh, the arena, yeah. and he tried to get it started, and, and it was just it was terrible. So, I don't know. Y'all need to organize a little bit better on the USA chant. Yeah, it's a, it's a bunch of boring people trying to get fired up. You know, Chad is a bunch of, bunch of geeks in politics trying to get fired up and get their little chant going. You but, you can fire them up, Carl. I am putting that on you. Okay, I have to find what's what's the is there a Cleveland Indian chant? Maybe we'll do that. I don't I don't know of one that's politically correct anymore. So I have no yeah, idea. All right. <laughs> all right, Chad. Thanks. Thanks, Carl. Have a good one. That's Carl Tepper. He's a delegate. Uh, he'll also be uh, filling in next week here on the show on uh, at least one day next week. He'll be filling in on the show.